So far, you've likely integrated Vim key bindings into terminals, text editors, or IDEs like VS Code. But what about web browsers? How can you navigate websites using just Vim bindings? There are options to install Vim-like plugins into Chrome, such as Vimium. However, if you're looking for something written from scratch, highly configurable and extensible, then there's a special web browser called Coot Browser. Let's install Coot Browser using the terminal. It is available in major official repositories. Once installed, we can search for Coot Browser, and here we can see Coot Browser is available. To open a particular website, we can press the O key and enter the address. Once I hit enter, the website will be opened. Just like in Vim, we are currently in normal mode. To type our search term, we need to hit the I key to insert into insert mode. Here we will type our search term and hit enter. Now we can see multiple links on this web page. To go back, we can type the capital H key, and to go forward, we can type the capital L key. To select and navigate to a link, we can type the F key. This will show us hints for each available link. To navigate to the first link, we can type the characters mentioned in the hint. This way we will be navigated to the first link. Let's go back to the Google results by typing the capital H key. To open a link in a new tab, instead of typing F, we will type the capital F key. Again, this will show us hints for all links. We can select the link by typing the characters mentioned inside the hint. Now, the link will be opened in a new tab. Let's open one more link in a new tab by typing the capital F key and selecting the link. Now we have three tabs open at the top. We can switch to the tab on the left by typing the capital K key and the tab on the right by typing the capital J key. Alternatively, we can type GT and the number of the tab to jump to a specific tab. Just like in Vim, we can press J and K to scroll down and up, respectively or use Control D or Control U to scroll up and down by half a page. To search forward, we can type a slash followed by our search term. And to search backward, we can type a question mark followed by our search term. We can navigate through the results by typing the N key or the capital N key. To use a search engine, we can press the O key and type our search term, which will default to DuckDuckGo. Let's change this. Qt Browser provides us with a config file for the same purpose. Using the search engine's option, we can change the default search engine. Next, we can set the default font size here. We can also bind a few more keys according to our needs. For example, we can set AA to add the current page to the bookmark list and AO to list all bookmarks. Additionally, we can add key bindings to our favorite websites here. Now, we can save this file and return to our browser. Qt Browser provides us with the config source command to reload the config dynamically. Now, if we try to search for something using the O command, we should be using Google as the default search engine. When we type AA, a new bookmark is added. Typing AO displays all the bookmarks we currently have. Pressing Ctrl W opens Wikipedia. Similar to bookmarks and favorite links, Qt Browser offers a feature called Quick Marks. It's Qt Browser's version of Vim Marks. We can mark a link using a short mnemonic by pressing the M key. This allows us to add a symbol to the quick mark. Quick marks can be opened by pressing the B key and selecting a mark. To select text on a web page, we can jump to the text by finding it and start visual mode. This allows us to visually select text. We can copy it to the clipboard using the Y key and paste it using the P key. We can close the current tab by typing the D key in normal mode. If you know some cool tips for Kuda Browser, please let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.